Hi friends, myself Premon and Pillai. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for latest information technology related videos. Today I will show you how to configure a TechRoot LAN extender for extending my LAN from one place to another. And I will also show you how to check is it synchronizing or not. For that I have a pair of LAN extenders I am showing you. One is this and the another one is there and I just connect the power you can see here it's power down and there are four Ethernet ports you can connect an Ethernet cable on whichever whichever port you want okay then I am just connecting that to my laptop after the configuration of this one I will configure this one and I will tell you that after that how to check is it singing or not means it is working or not you can see here the default IP is 192.168.0.1 and the user ID is root the password is admin now I will configure my PC on the same series of IP ok for that we will go to the network properties and then go to adapter settings and this one is my adapter ethernet adapter I'm just going I'll put a IP of the same series 192 168 22 whatever you want there is no issue okay I just configured I'm just closing this one and now I'll use a browser now I will put the IP of the LAN extender you can see here you see the IP of LAN extender Here I will type the default ID and the password. Okay, now you can see here the tech root LAN extender is opened on my browser. In the previous LAN extender, there are two configuration. One is CORNRT and then another one is bridge mode now nowadays the tech root or whichever LAN extender you are using it comes with a default bridge mode so we just want to make it slave or master that is CO or RT I will show you from where you must select that now you can see here CO or RT that means this one is my master one. I am just saving the same CO. Okay. Just saving the same. Okay. I just change this one and now I will close my LAN extender and I will connect my another LAN extender I'm just connecting that now I am changing the cable and now it is working okay now I will put the same IP here because my both LAN extender have the same IP 192.168.0.1 Yes, here it comes. 
now I'm copying the root and the password is admin this default one this one is my second LAN extender now I will go to configuration and the ATM and DSL DSL configuration now I select RT that means one of the tech root LAN extender must be on CO that is the master and the other one is on RT I just saving that one also without any change and my configuration is done now I will check is it working or not working because if I will give the data to one end is it extend that to the another end so that I will check one check that now you can see here I have a RJ11 cable now I will connect this one to the DSL one you can see here it is a RJ11 port you can see here it's connecting that it's connect that to one and this one is my second one it's connecting this one to the DSL port okay now I must wait some time for syncing of this LAN extender it will take a while Now you can see here it's singing the DSL is permanently glowing and the system is blinking with a green light you can see here that means it is working for extending a LAN from one place to another now you can see here I will connect the data to this point and I can you can uh, connect whichever place you want if you will connect here you can get in the port so that's it you can extend the data from one place to another okay thank you for watching please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for latest information technology related videos